Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 12 as well as Stash Dive Tuesday. And our sketch today, our exclusive sketch today is by Shannon Allure which is She's Crafty on YouTube. And you definitely should go check her out. She makes some of the most amazing creations. Um, this is the two pictures. I am turning her sketch sideways because my pictures are horizontal and not vertical. I have a handful, I think three different um, stamp sets that have hearts on them. Because I am going to go with the heart idea across the middle of the page. And for Stash Dove Tuesday, I've pulled old paper that I'm trying to use up for my leftovers to layouts collections and um, embellishments from sticker sheets and embellishment sheets that I am trying to use up as well. So I pulled in this paper pad which is a floral geo by paper studio because of that color. So I've got my papers, lots of embellishments, some mixed media I'm just going to happen, these fabulous pictures and this awesome sketch. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so like I said, I want to pull in that peachy corally color from the background pillows from where my son and I are laying. Um, but I also want to accent the other colors that are in this collection, which is like a yellow, navy blue, um, and then like a lighter pink. I don't use a whole lot of lighter pink, but there is some that I'm bringing in. So first I've got a bunch of little small scraps from this collection, so it worked perfectly to do this layout because you can use even if they're too short for a full strip you can use them and just cover up the join so i have matted my pictures on this stripe but i made sure that it landed on the right and the left on a color so it is matted mostly on yellow but on the bottom and the top is you can see where the white stripe part is and i'm okay with that but i wanted the sides to be in a color I do end up matting them again on this blue rainbow paper right here. Mm, right here. <laughs> Talking faster than I'm working. Um, I'm going to mat that on here so it'll give it a little darker background. And it also gives me that extra paper to create a strip out of. So I'm going to put that on the far left so it's further away from where I'm going to put the pictures where they are already matted in that same paper. And then I'm just going to start adding. So I know that some of my pieces are too short and would not peek out. So I want those to be to the left of the pictures. But then some of them are not long enough at all like these blue papers are not long enough at all so I'm going to cut them in half and then find a way to cover up the gap in the middle and I find a way <laughs> so I have these little strips from that stripe paper that I made a point of cutting where the white was not on the edge so it's got a peach on one side and a pink on the other so that that's what you see now most of that is going to get covered up with the picture but I'm going to add this other little stripey paper with some orange so it's like an orangey yellow color and I'm just going to get that laid down and then wherever I place my picture I'm going to cover up where you see that gap of paper for the yellow and then I am going to add a couple more strips a little bit of the peach a peachy corally color and a little bit more of this blue with a floral on it and I don't want a whole lot of floral I am going to bring a little a few flowers in um, good thing is that's one of the things on the bingo sheet uh, chipboard is also on the bingo sheet and that is definitely getting added florals is being added um, and enamel dots and I'm looking to see what else I have oh mixed media so um, that may not be in a row on the bingo sheet, but it is five, at least five things from it and multi-pictures, of course. So um, I'm going to get all of that stuff down and then I'm going to start on a little cluster of strips up here at the top. Now, the yellow and the blue are perfectly fine with their length, but I wanted to bring a little of this corally peach up here as well. And the piece I have is pretty small, so I'm going to use it and I've laid them down. Um, end to end 
and cut them to the length I needed them. But I'm just going to cover up the join with a stamp. Um, so I start by using well, the first one I use this multi heart is from a Dollar Tree stamp set. Mm, I'm not real sure how I feel about it because it didn't have a good secure stick to my um, stamping block and so it got ink behind it. Now my chip sapphire is super juicy and so that might be part of my problem so I'm going to try it again with one of the inks that's not as um, juicy as that one. But I, I luckily did some test runs on a scrap piece of paper, which of course can't see it's down the bottom. So I realized that um, it was way too juicy. So I had to make sure to stamp it off and not press down so, la so hard. And there's still some um, imperfections in the stamping and I'm okay with that. I mean, you could still tell that's heart. It just has some, you know, little extra dotties on the side and I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. Um, and so I just kind of take the different stamps. I believe that the first one, which is the like triple stamp or quadruple stamp is from the dollar store. And then the next two, oh, sorry. The next two are from Sweet Rush. And then the last two itty bitties are from Maggie Holmes round trip stamp sets. And I just wanted to go ahead and add in that coral. I used abandoned coral. I used chip sapphire and I used fossilized amber. And so some of the, um, after I stamped each one, I stamped one onto a white piece of scrap paper. And then I fussy cut them out so that I could have some that had a little more dimension as well as to put up here at the top. So that bigger heart is covering the join from those two peach colored um, strips. So, and then I'm just going to add a couple more hearts up here and then scatter a couple on the picture. I don't want to stamp on the picture because I don't think that's going to stay there. Um, and it definitely risks all sorts of things. <laughs> so I stamped on the paper, fussy cut them out. Oh, there's another thing on the, on the bingo sheet. And, um, just put like three of them along the picture. Um, just, uh, you know, not covering up anything. I'm just kind of scattered about because she does have those um, hearts on her sketch over the picture. So after I get that done, I'm going to start using my embellishments. Um, these first two, the floral on the left side and this love banner on the right side are from a American Crafts thicker set that I've been trying to use up because they have some peculiar things on them like oranges and a lady. I don't typically put people on my layouts um and I think she's doing like yoga or something not something I'm gonna have a picture of um so the two most oddball things that I put on here is this skateboard up at the top and then I'm gonna put a little infinity symbol at the bottom with the word young in it um so to me of course means forever young I they don't match color wise they're kind of like a shiny um, black with some um, color in it. A, they're mostly covered up, or at least the skateboard is. And B, I felt like it was just kind of giving a little bit more of a fun and not, you know, a frou-frou pretty page. <laughs> and my son does not skateboard. He would probably break something, not just a skateboard, but his noggin. Um, but I just thought it was kind of a fun thing to add. I also add a little pair of glasses from, I believe it was a Simple Stories Mickey Mouse like adventure um, kind of embellishment set because I've got glasses on in the top picture, but then I took them off for the bottom picture. Um, so as I'm looking at my layout after I've got it all done, I'm trying to figure out if this tree from the Dollar Tree is going to work on my layout and I don't really like it. So I go ahead and put those away and then I feel like it's missing something though. So I pull out my enamel accents and make little dots across kind of going in the same pattern as the stamps and I do add a few up at the top as well partially because it ha I have those home is with you and my heart is full that has some black on it so I wanted to bring the black into the layout but also because it just kind of gives a little filler as well so here is the close-ups of my layout I love how this turned out and I love these pictures I anytime my son will smile for a picture makes me happy so I hope you will check out the Stash Dive Tuesday list as well as the playlist for 30 Days of Sketches. Hope you'll come back and see me again very soon. I will be here every day this month creating with the 30 Days of Sketches.
I hope you have a great day. I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.